Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. I, I, I'm sorry, I, I just couldn't resist. We're back. I'm here on board the magnificent Celebrity Edge. And today, today, we set sail on the first U.S. cruise in 15 months. Now, this is the first cruise, and it's just one cruise, but it's the start of something huge. You know, when you see daffodils and crocuses coming up, you know that spring is not far behind. The transition from winter is not always smooth and not always easy, but it is inexorable. And so the cruise industry is springing forth as we restart in the U.S. and elsewhere. And just next week, on July 2nd, Royal Caribbean International's Freedom of the Seas which has already completed a successful simulated sailing, will leave from the Port of Miami on her first revenue cruise. Now that's freedom indeed. And of course, because I'm absolutely dedicated to my job, I won't miss that cruise either. I can't repeat often enough how grateful we are to all of the people who have helped us getting to this amazing day. Our employees have stepped up time and again throughout the last year to do whatever it took to get our crews home and to keep our ships safe and operational. And they implemented new protocols to create confidence that when we do got back to cruising, it will be both a healthy return and a one-of-a-kind, fun-filled vacation experience that our Royal Caribbean group guests have come to expect. Those guests also deserve a big thank you. They've been every bit as eager to return to cruising as we have. Some have even booked multiple cruises over the past year, hoping each time that that would be the time we restart. Until now, those hopes have been dashed, but they were never crushed. I'm so glad that I'm going to have a chance to personally thank many of those loyal guests who are sailing with us on the edge this weekend. And I need to thank all of you for the efforts and the sacrifices you've made to keep your businesses strong in these toughest of times. I know your phones are ringing again, and, and that's a happy sound for all of us. We really have been in this pandemic crisis together, and together we're going to get our way back to cruising and thrive as we do so. Now, I want to tell you that it's going to be all blue skies and clear sailings ahead. I really want you to know that we understand exactly what the guidelines that we'll be operating will be in every circumstances. And I want to say that the CDC and other government agencies are totally transparent and aligned on their requirements. I want to say all that, but unfortunately, it isn't true. There's still confusion, and it will take a while for the fog to completely clear. For example, we're still not 100% sure about the specific protocols on specific sailings. And here in Florida, we still don't understand all the implications of the law about vaccination documentation. You also know that the U.S. District Court ruled in favor of the state of Florida in a lawsuit challenging the CDC's authority to issue the conditional sale order. So more, un more uncertainty pending continued mediation between the parties, and possible further legal action. Just where I always wanted to be, right in the middle of a serious fight between two huge and important governments. Nevertheless, the fog is lifting, and there are some things that we know for sure. First, we know for sure that our guests want to get their vaccine, and the vast majority who are booking cruises, over 90%, tell us that they either are already vaccinated or they intend to be soon. We also know for sure that 100% of our crews are fully vaccinated and have received special training on how to create safe, memorable experiences for all of our guests. And we know for sure that our destinations are so excited to welcome our ships and our guests. We know all of this because we've already returned to sailing. While today's sailing of Celebrity Edge is the first one leaving from a U.S. port, we already have 13 ships operating from other ports around the world. And within a month, we will have 28 ships operating all together. Very importantly, our guest ratings are higher than they were even before the pandemic. 
And in each port, local authorities and business leaders have turned out for great welcome back celebrations. We also know that our health and safety protocols are working as intended. You may have heard, for example, that two passengers sharing a stateroom on Millennium tested positive for COVID-19. That's likely all that you heard. And that's because the guests were quickly isolated on board, rapid contact tracing showed there were no additional cases, and the two guests were promptly flown back to the United States. No drama for the other guests, no interruption of their crews, no difficulty for the local community. Simply put, the protocols and procedures worked precisely as they were intended to work. So it's a great story, and I can't wait to tell it. Cruising in the U.S. is back. Now, because it's the right thing to do, I'm going to go wash my hands. And you should, too. <laughs>